All right, everybody, this is Dealer Destro back with another Modern Era G.I. Joe video. And man, it feels good to be back uh, looking at some Joe product. <clears throat> so, splurged and managed to find an extra bomb strike. So that's what we're taking a look at here is the G.I. Joe Club exclusive figure subscription service forward air controller. So I guess the only thing left for me to do now is pick up her two brothers, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but... That being said, let's just take a gander at what we got here. So I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to bring this card art a little as close as I can here. So that's the card art on the front. And it looks nothing short of phenomenal. Nothing short of phenomenal. Um, that's what the figure looks like behind the bubble. Bringing this in so y'all can get a look at the file card on the back. Feel free to pause and uh, take a look at that. So that's the file card. Uh... Something that worked out, happened to work out for me here is I have one carded and see how this one is coming off the the bubble the bubble there. Uh, it looks like the club skimped on the glue and as a result it looks like the bubble is rising off the card. Um, so I'm going to open this bad boy up and we're going to do so very carefully, very eloquently, very delicately. Um, so as to preserve the uh, card art here. So I'm actually gonna I'm actually gonna do that off camera this time because I mean look this this thing wasn't cheap and yeah I'm gonna open it and and yeah I want to preserve the card art. So I'm gonna take this off camera. I'm gonna get it opened up. I'm gonna come back. We're gonna take a look at it. So just bear with me. Be right back. All right. So here she is with her gear. And shockingly enough, the bubble just came right off the card. So there's that. Um, so that's what she's, this is all the accessories that she comes with. So we'll, we'll, we'll get right in here. So let's take a look at this. Nothing to write home about. This is what I have dubbed the standard issue. Literally. Great line work on it. Great, great like all around great you know what you'd expect um so that's that she comes with the rifle that we've seen with a plethora of figures um this is like the uh, rifle that was prominently used in the rise of cobra um great accessory overall and then she comes with a drone that says u.s air force um Good paint accent on the wing, and then the wing mechanism on this thing works works pretty good. And then underneath you have guns that you can you can swivel around to the front um, to complete the drone effect. Note the peg for the backpack. Uh, it looks like she has the Resolute Destro briefcase, and different paint scheme here so you've got the gray gun you've got the silver paint on the back of the monitor which flips up you've got the you've got the blue screen blue uh i guess led backlight effects i don't know what these are but it looks cool that they painted them silver and then you got the silver painted keyboard and then i just mean look at all that detailing that's in there and then of course you know you got your Let's just call this what it is, ladies and gentlemen, bias aside. You've got your standard issue Mars uh, SMG with the uh, forward-facing grip on it. Yeah. So, all in all, I, I, I really like this piece. This is a great, uh, great accessory. And then the detailing, and then you have the rebrand there with the modern G.I. Joe uh, logo on there. So... Uh, slide that aside. Getting into the figure, she comes with a stand, codename Bomb Strike, two peg, with the G.I. Joe embossed logo on there. Um, and then getting into the figure itself, I'm glad to finally have one of these loose and in hand. She's going to look fabulous in my uh, club display case. Um, so yeah. So, overall detailing here. Uh is going on with my camera seriously it's gonna make me zoom in like that so head sculpt looks great great paint 
you see the blonde eye, uh, eye, eyelid, no, not eyelids, eyebrow, Lord have mercy, um, great paint on the eyes, uh, great paint on the lips, great paint on the hair, awesome, 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 all the way around, head sculpt, and then, as far as articulation goes, you get some up, you get a little bit down, but nothing really too crazy, and then let's see how close my camera's gonna let me get. Not too, not too close, apparently. But I wanna, I want y'all to see that GI Joe logo, tampoed on there, flawlessly, flawless application on that. Um, articulation for the arms, you've got the full 360 degrees. The shoulders, what's weird? Oh, never mind. I was gonna say what's weird is you can get up on this side, but not not this side. But you can get up on both sides. So. Uh, elbow bend, these elbows make me a little nervous and the only reason I say that is because again, given the price point um, on this figure, you, you don't get much elbow and you have the old school, you know, you get the swivel here, but you don't have the updated articulation on there. Um, you have this piece of floating web gear, it's got the canteen ammo pouch, little, uh, little sketchy on the gold paint applications i'm gonna have to fix that up on myself but great paint app underneath like you have the painted belt painted belt buckle and then it looks like there's even paint along the inside of this vest here uh this 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 is floating web gear um i guess you can possibly yep you can take that comes right off so if you if you want the the look sans backpack <laughs> sans backpack um you can get that and that's what the back of the vest looks like all in all very clean paint application this is painted this is not um extra web gear and then great great uh application on the camo paint apps um great transition on the paint to the boots and then for the feet the feet artic the foot articulation or the ankle articulation i should say feels really good like, I don't feel like I'm going to break anything here, and it feels sturdy, and I can trust it. One thing I will mention is that. So on mine, the T-joints, uh, I don't know if it's because of the sculpt of, like, her hip area, but, and you see that when, like, when you move her legs forward, it kind of flares out. But overall, great articulation. They got the double knee joint going really good. So th this is a super dynamic figure. Um, there shouldn't be any reason you can't get whatever pose you want out of it. Same on this side here. Great use of that double knee joint. Um, so yeah, so all in all, that's that's the articulation for her. And I must say, you know, I am I am extremely pleased with adding this figure to my collection, despite the sort of weird issues that's going on with the joints. Um, I can I can look past that. I can look past that, and that's that's not me having paid a ludicrous price trying to get over my buyer's remorse. That's <laughs> that's that's just me. Just I'm I'm really happy with this figure. Um, seriously, like she's awesome. She's awesome. She's one of the better figures uh, from from the FSS run that I've seen. Um, I feel that the art, the accessories are well balanced. I don't feel like it's overloaded, and. Um, even though, you know, these accessories have been used before, I want to say this, this is the, at least from here down, uh, the Renegade, Renegades, sorry, Scarlet figure, um, at least from here, I don't know that the lower legs, these might be from like, uh, Agent Helix, I actually have one over here, so let's, let's verify that, no, it is not. It actually is not, because there she is. So I'm sure that this has been used before. These are reused parts. I just don't know exactly where from. Um, but yeah, all in all, a great, great figure. Highly recommend adding it to the to your collection if you don't already have it. Um, and I mean, I guess for some side-by-side -side comparisons, to see how she stacks up, right? So there she is with... Agent Helix from the movie, sporting the new uh, G.I. Joe look, or G.I. Joe logo, I might add. 
Um, so yeah, I mean, she's gonna look good on a shelf. She really is. And if you're one of those folks that like to display carded, man, that card art is second to none. They knocked it out the park. Um, so yeah, so I guess that's, we'll keep it short and sweet. That's all I got for this one. Um, we'll go ahead, I'll go ahead and do another video. I, I picked up Psych out as well, the non Night Force version. So I've been anxious to add him to my collection loose as well. So uh, we'll, we'll come back. We'll take a look at him next video. So we'll catch you in that video on the flip side till next time. Hope y'all take care. Thanks for tuning in.